Today we're looking at miniature schnauzers and seeing what we see. Let's go. Oh, not her lamb chop. Oh no, he juked him. Oh god. He's so dramatic. <laughs> the drama! Oh my god. I think we found the source of where NBA players learn to overreact to getting fouled. This guy looks like LeBron when he gets poked with one finger and then goes flying 30 feet across the court. You can take a small bite. Just bite the corner like this. A little bite off the banana? Bananas are good for dogs. Just bite it. Gentle. <laughs> That's not quite just the corner, buddy. <laughs> There seems to be a little miscommunication about what corner means. Gotta give him some credit though. At least he was gentle. Jasper. You know, schnauzers are one of the breeds that do require a lot of grooming. You notice she's using a lot of scissors on this dog, cutting the around the face, cutting the legs. If you're gonna get a schnauzer, it's really important that you find a really good groomer who knows how to groom them properly. Gotta make sure their little beard looks good. We are live from Sky Fox 1. Crackhead on the loose. Last seen smoking <laughs> crystal meth out of a Pepsi can. Drives directly in. We are live from Sky Fox 1. Crackhead on the loose. You leave that little crackhead alone. He said, you're not getting me today. Schnauzers do have a lot of energy, though. So much so, you do think they're on crack sometimes. Really important that every day you're able to get them out, go for a nice walk, and also provide them with mental stimulation as well. They need both. Uh -oh. What did you do? Call into the recycling. Well, I told you don't leave, and you left, <laughs> so I did what I had to do. What is this? Sometimes living with dogs and thinking about behavior issues, we have to think about prevention, not just training. If you have dogs in your house and them going to the garbage is a problem, I always like the kind of garbage cans with a lid that closes on top. Much harder for dogs to get into. And even if it gets knocked over, it still doesn't open because most dogs can't figure out how to push the little foot lever. So if you have a problem with your dogs getting into the garbage cans, consider getting some cans that have lids on them. My mom sent this to the family group Open chat. Open the door! <laughs> she, she dangle him in the air there. Oh my god! Y'all, the Rob Wilder snuck out the thing and came after me and Coco. Jesus have mercy. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Poor Coco. She was carrying Coco like a purse. Coco turned into a fidget spinner. I think this might have been a little bit of an overreaction. The other dog didn't really come at her. The other dog was like two miles away, but that's okay. Always better to be safe than sorry. Today, mission, hide bone in a blanket. Oh, didn't work. Now we're going for the couch. Hide bone in a pillow. Epic fails. If you've ever wondered why dogs try to bury things like bones, the belief is that dogs know that it's cooler underground, and if they bury things there, it'll last longer for them to come back to. That's just a theory we don't know for sure, because we're not dogs, but it does seem to make sense. Oh, we're going for a little swim. Well, that's smart. A nice little ramp. Oh, he fell back in. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Gotta go up the ramp. <laughs> Swimming is a great exercise for dogs. One thing to note about letting your dog swim in pools, if your pool has chlorine in it, it's not great for dogs. It can affect their skin, and if they drink enough of the water, it can kind of cause upset stomachs as well. So just one thing to think about if you're gonna let your dog go swimming in a pool. Saying all his favorite words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about getting some treats. <laughs> yeah, and then we were gonna maybe go in the car. I don't know. Think about maybe getting a pup cup and oh, pup maybe cup. get one for Henry. <laughs> Look at his face. Yeah. Then we could make popcorn. That's a good idea. Popcorn. He <laughs> says, <laughs> I like popcorn. I'm on the phone. Yeah. Yeah, we could go on a walk or something. I'm not sure. Yeah. I do, I would. This is why it's so important to always be talking to our dogs. Because just having everyday conversations with them, they pick up words and actions and pair them together. She's never taken time to teach him what popcorn means. But if every time she's given him popcorn, she says, oh, do you want some popcorn? Oh, do you want some popcorn? The dog naturally makes that association. So always be talking to your dogs. You'll be amazed at what they pick up. What is this big yellow book? <laughs> what is it? How does it float? I just want to boop, boop. <laughs> I just want to keep booping it. It's a fun little but toy for him. I also <laughs> kind of want to pop it. I don't understand how it boop. Oh, <laughs> I almost got it that time. Oh no, where's it going? Bring it back. Oh, 
Balloons can be fun for your dog, but always supervised. We never want to take a risk of the dog potentially popping it and then eating the balloon because that can cause big problems. 10 tricks we trained our puppy. Let's see what he learned. Sit, very good. Down, nice. Paw, good. He's responding fast. <laughs> Roll over, good. Spin, nice. Very good. Very good, a little, little army crawl. Right by the side for a nice heel, good. Good boy. Through the legs, that was great. The crawl was especially good. Using food like this is such a great way to train a dog. You'll notice that dog has no choke chain, shock collar, or prong collar on. That dog is choosing to listen, and he listens fast. These owners did a great job training him. Okay, so we recently took uh, our mini schnauzer to the groomer after uh, almost a year of not having been wow. groomed. No year. Uh, this All dog right. desperately needed a grooming. Um, so the lady completely shaved him down, uh, everything except for... Aww, <laughs> eyebrows. His eyelashes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Looks like most of the girls on Instagram. He's an influencer now. We thought our dog Zeke was lonely, so we bought him Ellie. This is how it went. Aw, meeting the little puppy. Whenever we are introducing dogs to each other, always best to leave them on the ground. So this is really good, the way they introduced them. Kind of just let them work things out. Oh, good. Get a little slideshow. If you only have a single dog in your house and you're considering getting another one, it is really beneficial to the other dog to have another dog to live with. Do keep in mind though, for us humans, that does mean more expenses, you know, more vet bills, more paying for supplies like dog food, toys, beds, and you gotta be able to have the time to train both of them. But if you're willing to do that, having two dogs is always great. What I expected my mini schnauzer to look like. What did we get? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh, demon dog. I'm sorry for your loss. She got the schnauzer from Wish. <laughs> He's beautiful on the inside, though. How we feed Joey. We give her half a cup of dry food. Okay. And put portions in her snuggle puppy. Good. Puzzle toys will be want. She has to wait until the count of three. Good. Works on her impulse control. Very good. Then she has to work to open it and find the food. Beautiful. This is the best way to feed a dog. When you put food down in a dog's bowl, it's gone in 30 seconds. Waste of food. I love feeding dogs all their meals from puzzle toys. Toys like this where you put the food in and the dog has to work to get it out. Such a better use of food. Gives our dog so much mental stimulation. This is the way to do it. What'd you when do? your dog is guilty and he knows it. Uh -oh. These are my brand new boots. Oh. Did you ruin them? We shouldn't have left them out then. <laughs> oh, hi there. Never seen that boot in my life. He's innocent. <laughs> I promise to be a good boy forever. Oh, I'll give him a little hug. <laughs> There's things we can do to train our dogs not to chew on stuff that they shouldn't be, but it's also much easier to prevent destructive chewing in the first place. How do we do that? We don't leave things out that we don't want the dog to chew on. So reminder, put your shoes away. If you put your shoes away where the dog can't get them, then there's 0% chance the dog can chew them up. That's all for today. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment on what breed you want to see next, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.